What's up guys, Rui here and welcome back to the channel. This video was supposed to be up on the last day of 2021, but unfortunately personal stuff came up and so here we are. Also, I am feeling pretty under the weather at the moment, so hopefully I don't sound too bad in front of the camera right now. Now, something that I try to do for the channel is to kind of just reflect back on the year and look at all the pieces that I have picked up on that particular year and see how they have held up after multiple of usage, as well as how I do feel about them after the whole honeymoon phase is over. Now, if you guys are interested in kind of a more in-depth review on each of these pieces that I will be talking about, I will be leaving all the full reviews to them down in the description box below. I feel like this is a great practice to do simply because it makes me more aware on what I did pick up this year as I always try my best to be very cautious with the things I buy so that I do not overconsume and start having way too much clothes that I essentially do not wear much. But before we continue today further into today's video, it would be very, very much appreciated if you could go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below if you are new to the channel or just haven't been subscribed yet as it really does help the channel out a long way. Also, if you guys are feeling generous and want to help support the channel in a much bigger way, I do have a Patreon page whereby I've only set up to be a dollar a month and all of it will go into helping me to pick up new filming equipments so that I can continue to keep on improving the qualities of the videos for you all as well as helping to keep the lights on this channel. Let's first start off with all the pieces that was gifted to me and earlier this year, I was gifted the L House Vagabond jacket that was made with their in-house fabric technology called Ghost Textile that features a canvas-like material but still having water repellent functionality. I no longer have the piece anymore but it's a pretty interesting piece with a very unique design with all the different pockets and buckles on the jacket and I think if you are a fan of a louder utilitarian design, this could be right up your alley. Although the Ghost Textile variation is already sold out, they do many frequent re-release of it because it's a very popular piece and the latest one I think looks even cooler as it features this backboard embroidery design at the back of the jacket. One of the biggest surprises for me this year is actually how much I like the TB2 tote bag for Dream. Now they did send this over to me for me to check it out alongside a couple of other accessories that can be integrated with the tote bag and honestly this is a very very solid everyday carry system. The tote bag focuses a lot on modularity and customization whereby you can attach things like a strap to transform into more of a messenger style bag and there are molly webbings running across it which will allow you to attach different mods and attachments to your liking. All of this does add up towards the additional functionality that you would get compared to a regular tote bag. I'm really impressed by the overall construction of this tote bag and being a carry system that is priced more on the affordable side of the spectrum, it is built really well and sturdy. For all your everyday carry stuff, this will hold up just fine. Therefore, if you just got into tech wear or you don't want to spend too much money, this is one item I can highly recommend you guys to check out. If you've been following the channel for a while now, the brand Ida Ido is a pretty common household name. I have featured and worn a bunch of their pants for the longest of time, and I would say if we just got started into techwear, this is one brand that I can highly recommend for pieces that offer a very good ratio between price and quality, especially with the Traject subdivision line that focuses on made-to-order functional garments. Among all the pieces from the Traject line, my favorite is the dual shirt, which I was very incredibly lucky to be gifted this piece. I just love how it has this very formal look but still having some functional design with the dual opening zipper and a massive side access pocket. Most times when I do have to dress up a little bit more for special occasions, this is one of my go-to pieces. If you guys are still interested in any of the pieces, the code RUI10 is still usable which will help you to save 10 US dollar per piece. One other piece that they released earlier this year was the John Doe Modular Cargo Pants which is a collaboration piece with Shuren Projects. It features modular functionality such as removable cargo pockets that can be combined to form a sacoche. However, I personally have never used it in this mode but if you are a fan of modular pieces, this is a pretty cool piece to check out but just note that it's not the strongest structurally in the sacoche mode due to how it's combined, hence I would not put too much heavy things inside of it. 
Something I tried to dive more into this year is actually buying more pre-owned pieces. And it's one thing that I want to move more towards into in the future. Thankfully, one of the best finds for me this year has to be the Nike Lab ACG Tech shirt. So major shout out to Leon who sold this piece to me for an absolute steal. At this point of time, being able to pick up any Nike Lab ACG stuff for a good price is truly a no-brainer seeing that the last collection was back in 2018. Therefore, a lot of the pieces are getting archived and rarer by the day. Being that this is a secondhand piece, the condition of it is absolutely perfect and flawless. There are no stains nor damaged errors, and this is probably one of my most worn pieces, simply because firstly, it's a garment that is designed specifically for hot weather usage, and secondly, I just love how clean and simple the design is, making it a very great everyday shirt. It basically goes well with anything and it's a very versatile piece. The next pre-owned piece that I picked up is one of my grill sneakers that I have been eyeing for a very long time now, which is the Nike Undercover React Element 87 in the green mist colorway. I was so hyped when I managed to find it over on John Flip for close to retail and the condition of it is honestly pretty good. In terms of design, it does have a very eye-catching look with the transparent upper. The only part that was old and shows signs of wear are the soles of the sneaker. It is a little bit scuffed and the clear parts are pretty oxidized by now, but other than that, it's still in pretty much perfect condition. When it comes to comfort, these are extremely comfortable and oftentimes I do find that if I have to be out for a long period of time or if I know there will be quite a lot of walking, this will be my go-to sneaker. It's super lightweight and the React sole is very bouncy, giving back quite a bit of energy return when walking. Moving on towards all the brand new pieces, one of the very first few accessories that I picked up this year is the Sidearm 1.5 and the S1 belt from Unscot Coded. Ever since I first got into tech wear, the Sidearm 1.5 was one of the pieces that I absolutely wanted to get my hands on and I'm so incredibly blessed and lucky to be able to add this piece into my wardrobe. Aesthetically, it just looks really cool and I think just on its own, it's able to elevate what would be a very plain outfit, giving it that sci-fi utilitarian look. After using it a bunch of times now, you will need to get accustomed to and train your muscle memory a little bit when using the sidearm, but once you do do it, it's very convenient to have all your EDC stuff in one location. One thing I would say is that if you are planning to use it, it will look the best if you do tuck your shirt in so that it will be more exposed for easy usability and it also does add more width around the waist area, therefore if you do have the shirt untucked, it will look somewhat unflattering as it widens your hip area. Alternatively, you can also look into integrating the sidearm with your messenger or backpack. The S1 belt, on the other hand, is one of my most used accessories ever since I've gotten it. At first, I decided to pick it up just to complement the sidearm, but because of how minimal and subtle it looks, it basically is the only belt that I use if I do need one. So far, I have zero problems with it and it goes well with basically any everyday outfit and I just love how there are zero gimmicks on it as it just does what a belt is supposed to do and does it really well. When it comes to accessories, face masks are one accessory that is almost mandatory for many people due to the current times we live in. Now, to be honest, I've not tried a bunch of different face masks, but the one by Dispatch is truly my favorite. And the one that I have here is the special collaboration with the Annex. That is why you have this very cool typographic on it. Overall, it's super comfortable and I like how white the mask is as it basically covers half my face, which I very much prefer compared to the smaller disposable surgical mask. I've worn them a bunch of times by now and it's holding up really well even after multiple washes. I do put them inside a small wash bag just to help preserve the longevity of the elastic bands and also to help avoid tangling inside the washing machine. If I were to choose one brand to be my favorite for 2021, it will most certainly be not in list. In my opinion, this is one of the most underrated brands that I have came across last year. I just fell in love with the whole idea of trying to implement and adapting concepts from video games as well as sci-fi movies into their garments. 
Now, although I have reviewed a bunch of the pieces and kind of multiple different collections from them now, um, I actually only own two pieces from them, which is the Exoskeleton T and the Trooper Bucket Hat. Both of these pieces are from their previous collection. In my opinion, the Exoskeleton T is probably one of the coolest t-shirts out there. I really love the back panels that tries to resemble an exoskeleton armor suit and the overall boxy and oversized silhouette is something I always try to go for for all my t-shirts. Unfortunately, it's no longer in production because the fabric material does present some piling issues, but I really do hope there will be a version 2 in the making because this is seriously one dope t-shirt. Up next, we have the Trooper Bucket hat. And what I really love about it is just how white the hat is, as I do have a pretty massive head, which most times bucket hats just either don't fit or look funny on me because of how small they are. This is not the case with this and the design of it is really cool with the dual brim and the angular cutout. The only thing that I wish that this hat has is some sort of water repellent functionality. If you guys are interested in picking something up from them, I overall would highly recommend you guys to check out their latest collection featuring the ZK down jacket and the E aesthetic pants. In terms of the overall design and construction, both pieces are a major step above all their previous stuff and you can still save yourself some money by using the promo code RUI15 to save yourself 15 US dollars off each piece. Now one brand I am super obsessed with is Goopy Mate and thankfully I am able to add yet another piece from them which is the V01 Tech Utility Kimono Jacket. This is actually pretty similar to the piece that I picked up last year from them, which is the Utility Jinbei Jacket. Now, although they have a rather similar silhouette, there are quite a bit of difference in terms of the design features, which able to separate them apart and kind of stands out on its own. This is one of the pieces that I have worn a ton and for some reason, I just feel like the kimono jacket just fits slightly better on my body compared to the Jinbei, although they have a very similar silhouette. When it comes to feature wise, my favorite part is the side zipper here, whereby I can kind of unzip it, allowing more air ventilation during a hot day. And also if I do have a messenger bag, I can integrate it with the jacket. Overall, this has been my favorite jacket of the year. When it comes to Goopy Mate, I've mentioned this a lot in the past. To me, they are one of those niche brands whereby you have to want to commit more towards the intended style the brand is going for. In this case, it's a very wide and oversized look. Finally, I have to save the best pickups for last. 2021 was the acronym year for me as I finally decided to bite the bullet and pick up not one but two acronym pieces which are the 3A5 messenger bag and the P30AE. Definitely went ham here, but honestly, these are some of the most ultimate grill pieces for many techwear fans out there, including myself. So I'm just incredibly happy and blessed to be able to add them into my wardrobe. I did pick the 385 earlier this year and have been trying to use it as much as I can, but truth be told, most times it is way too massive and cumbersome, but the upside here is that I'm able to utilize it in more occasions. For next year, I do have some pretty interesting ideas that I have planned around this bag, so I am pretty excited to truly limit test this bag out. When it comes to the P38, this is the ultimate of the ultimate pair of pants for me, which is why I was pretty upset I didn't pull the trigger on the DS variation when it came out earlier this year, especially when I could get it for a much better price as well. That is why when the E variation was announced, I knew I had to pull the trigger on these or else I would most certainly regret the second time. Safe to say I have never been happier with a purchase and I'm hoping to be doing a review on them comparing it with the DS variation which hopefully will be out by the end of this month. And that is everything that I did pick up for the year 2021 and overall I felt that I did pick up slightly more pieces compared to 2020. A lot of them were actually very good pieces to me personally, hence I felt that along the line I would have picked them up eventually. Therefore, I just am feeling super blessed to be able to add them into my wardrobe right now and I just can't wait to get some really good wear out of them moving towards this year. I for sure will still be picking up some pieces this year but I do believe it will be far less compared to last year or at least on the pieces that I will be spending my own money on. There are definitely some things that I am very hyped for, such as the Nike Acronym collab, and I definitely want to further expand my Goopy Mate collection. 
That's why for now, these are the only two things that I will be saving up for this year. That is all I have to say for now. And if you guys have been enjoying today's video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Also, again, if you guys are new to this channel or just haven't been subscribed yet, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button down below as it really does help the channel out a long way. That is all I have for today's video. Please do stay safe out there and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.